well, 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 it feels like it's been forever since I've been in my little fairy studio at the bottom of my garden. And uh, yeah, hey, <laughs> normally I'm kind of more recently out on the beach or in the woods. And of course I love it there, but I also love it here because it feels a little bit more intimate and uh, the energy builds in this space because I'm actually surrounded by nature and I can see nature all around me out of the windows and the doors. So I have two decks. I have the Oracle of the Fairies and Messages from the Mermaids. Now Messages from the Mermaids is due to be released on the 16th of June and I, I can't express my joy and how excited I am for this deck to be released into the world and for you to hold it in your hands and work with the deck. It has a very different energy. Make sure it's the right, the right way up. <laughs> it has a very, very different energy from my first fairy baby, the Oracle of the Fairies. And these cards, as you probably know, always literally fly out of the deck. This deck is slightly different, as you would expect, because the Mer energy is different. It's slower, it's more fluid, it flows, and the cards respond in a very similar way. So today I'm actually going to start with messages from the mermaids because it feels right. And I've been spending so much time at the sea as well. Um, oops, <laughs> just throwing everything all over the place. So I'm going to give them a shuffle and I'm not sure about you, but are you getting used to this lockdown, this time of uh, self-reflection, of self-isolation? How is it for you? I'm actually, I don't want to say enjoying it because I don't actually enjoy anything that's enforced, but I am making the most of it. I, I do enjoy the peace. Uh, I enjoy the fact that there's not this kind of low hum of traffic all the time and you can actually hear the birds clearer. Their songs are louder and crisper in the mornings and during the day and the skies are clearer and bluer and it's just it feels like nature's having a well-deserved rest. So I'd like to ask the mermaids to bring their energy into this reading for us and share their watery wisdom for the highest good of all. They do feel very, very different from my fairy oracle. Mermaids, please. <laughs> well, that didn't take long, did it? Inner knowing. So this inner knowing, the mermaid of inner knowing, has swum into our reading today. We all have this ability, the access to our own inner knowing. It can also be likened to your intuition, a gut feeling, your inner knowing. We all have access to this. Do you override your inner knowing? We all do at times. You have a split second before something happens, when you meet somebody or when you're in a scenario and you have to make a decision. Your inner knowing knows. It always knows the way to go. Your intuition, that gut feeling, that hunch. Do you listen to it? Perhaps you could be listening to it more. We all could. There are certainly times when I have overridden my own inner knowing. This mermaid is reminding us to be mindful and to be aware of our inner knowing and to allow our inner knowing to guide us through life. Now I'm going to pull a clarifying card from the Oracle of the Fairies. So the mermaid is reminding us of our inner knowing. And fairies, fairies, what would you like us to know? Ooh, 
didn't take long. New beginnings. Well, that's good. Because this situation that we're in actually feels like a new beginning. And it's full of hope, potential, possibilities. And in conjunction with your inner knowing, the new beginning can be beautiful. It is uncertain times. These are challenging times. They're unusual times for sure. We've never been in a situation like this before. And even though it feels like the ending of an old way, an old way of being, an old way of life, the old normal, the new beginning harbours positivity, a bright and beautiful new future. Now, of course, this can also represent the new beginning as in a new birth, a birth of a baby or the birth of an idea, something that you've been holding in your heart, something you've been cherishing. Only you will know, your inner knowing will know for sure. So inner knowing and new beginnings. What a beautiful combination of cards. Thank you fairies, thank you mermaids. I hope this reading resonates with you on some level. Until the next time, I wish you lots of love, light, joy and magical, magical mer fairy blessings. Take care.